Okay, this is the next part in the Apache uh, web server tutorial. Okay, I'm here at home on my um, machine at home, and uh, I'm running WAMP server. And um, as you can see here, I've opened uh, C drive, and then WAMP folder, and then the www folder. And inside, I've got my Dan's Games folder, and I've got my Learning Games for Kids folder. All right, and um, inside of each of these. I just have a web page, okay? And I've bought um, the two domain names. Uh, I've registered the two domain names, dansgames.com and learninggamesforkids.com, right? Let's say I wanted to make a, uh, a, a an educational kids uh, game site, you know, with little games and whatnot. They could play, learn how to do the ABCs and whatnot. Okay, and then all I had to do was make some changes to my uh, vhost comp file in Apache. So what I did was, I'm going to open up, this is the um, inside of WAMP, inside the folder bin, inside, and I can just show you, I'll just go there. Okay, you go to your WAMP folder, you go in your bin folder, you go in your Apache folder, Apache 2.2.11, and then in there you can go to your comp folder and that's where your httpd comp file is and um, I told you last time that what you need to do is, I'm going to open this with notepad is um, you have to uh, get rid of one of the last lines and let me um, scroll here to uh, make this available to you so you can see it one of the last lines you just have to uncomment is um, let's see here see where I've uncommented it um, I'm looking forward looking oh here it is uh, right here on the virtual hosts it says uh, uh, virtual hosts here with comment pound sign is a comment and then I took away the pound side so it says include conf extra httpd conf. so it's now including now this configuration file is going to include this configuration file um, eight, this other configuration file httpd um, dash vhost.conf so you have to uncomment this so this other file is included okay so now that I've uncommented that now if you go in this extra folder here and uh, I'll go in this extras folder you'll find the vhosts comp file and now this is being included and um, I'm gonna open it with um, notepad here okay and what I did was is this is amazing is that it wasn't working at first and then I just changed um, my configuration file slightly and everything started working really nicely so you can see here it says virtual host 80 and I've included the document root C um, and I'm not sure if you can see this too well maybe I can uh, uh, let's see if I can make the text larger here for you I'll just make the text a bit bigger okay and there it is alright so now here at the end what I put, and this is all you needed. To, all I needed to put was virtual host, and then a um, star colon 80. So this is listening on port 80, and I've put in the root, uh, the uh, a way to get to the Dan's Games folder, and then I put in a server name dansgames.com, server alias www.dansgames.com, and virtual host, and then I put in another one for my uh, learning games for kids, and before I thought that with uh, with uh, named uh, hosts that you had to listen on different ports so I had port 8080 well and it wasn't working um, and um, I had configured my uh, my router to uh, listen for any source addresses and then send them to my web server on port 80 right but not port 80 88 so um, I was having a hard time thinking about how I was going to get that to work but then I thought well wait a minute I'll just listen to that on port 80 also so what I did was is I have a virtual host listing on port 80 for my other website and it's pointing to my other folder right and uh, this has been commented out here so there's no no need to even uh, I commented this out uh, for virtual host to listen on 80 for the root www folder because I figured now when we were listening on port 80 we're going to send them to either Dan's games or the learning games for kids and then I saved it then after you save it I don't need to save it now
After you save it, you need to restart your WAMP server, or your Apache server. So I uh, restarted my Apache server. Let's see here. So I just click here and go to Apache service, restart service, right? And lo and behold, now everything works. So now if um, you go to, uh, let's see here, I'll bring up a new browser. We'll open up a new browser and I'll show you this. All right. This should start working here in a second, kind of slow. If you go to dansgames.com, um, it takes you to Hello Everyone, Welcome to Dan's Games. And then in another tab, I'll type in, let's see here, Learning Games for Kids.com. And hello everyone, welcome to Learning Games for Kids. So now I've got virtual hosts set up on my web server at home, pointing to two different folders. So I have two virtual hosts set up, and it was actually easier than I thought. I didn't have to uh, listen on port 8088 or anything like that, just both on port 80. And so now I'm going to go back to VirtualBox and see if I can make those changes to my Linux uh, Fedora system and uh, get that working too. And...